I've always painted my whole life. I've always tried like different mediums and different things and a lot of my friends all did graffiti. I just kind of picked up the can naturally one day and just gave it a try and then I loved it and just kind of kept kept rolling with it. I have probably pictures of me drawing like when I was like two or something my mom would always show me. Like I feel like anytime, anything I think about, like I try to relate it to art. Like, I had a lot of friends that were in bands and then I would do like their album covers and posters and stuff. And then eventually it just like that always took over and would always be more important than anything else I was doing. The Juice World thing got started through one of my friends, uh, Juju Smith-Schuster, he plays on the Steelers. He knew Juice World, and then after he died, he wanted me to like do a painting just so we could hang in his house and kind of like have someone to remember him by. So I just did that for him, and then he showed it to Juice World manager and like his all his people, and then they were like, oh, this guy's gotta do the cover. Then I ended up doing the album cover for that, and then it, when the release of that came out, I just went and did the mural like right before, and I had to do the whole thing in like two days. My friend Antonio Brown, he was playing on the Steelers at the time too. Before the season started, um, one year I was out there and it was like probably a week before the season was gonna start, he was just like, hey, you wanna just paint something on my beats and just try it and everyone loved it. So we just kept doing it for every game and then just like blew up in the whole thing. And then like different companies were reaching out, different players were, kept reaching out to me to do more and then just kept growing. I just felt like doing a mural, he was just like somebody that deserved like to be honored in like a mural. So I just wanted to do that for myself. And I thought maybe people around the neighborhood might think it's cool. People started putting it on like Facebook. It just blew up and then overnight, like the whole world saw it. When I was thinking about it, I was just thinking about social justice and like how that affects different communities and different types of people. I wanted to like really get that message across onto the wall. I feel like kind of doing that in a creative way that people can relate to, like way to connect people.